the first Apex or ISX engines came out and they all had three Jake solenoids. The first solenoid only actuated the lever on cylinder number one. The second solenoid operated the levers on two and three, and the third solenoid operated levers four, five, and six. So you had a switch on a dash that was one through six. It was a rotary switch. It was an option, but you could get that if you wanted it. If you had it on one, only solenoid number one was energized. If you had it on two, only the second solenoid was energized, not the first one. So you were jaking on cylinders two and three. So that was two. When you put it on three, number one and number two were energized. So the whole front bank, front three cylinders were jaking. When you put it on four, the rear bank and number one were energized. Five was the rear bank and then levers two and three. And of course, six were all three solenoids. Then they went to two solenoids. Well, of course, at first that messed with my head a little bit. I tried to figure that out. And uh, the reason that works is this. They pulse with those solenoids now. Now remember that the ECM knows exactly where the crankshaft is because it has a speed sensor and it also has a backup injector camshaft sensor. So it knows exactly where the injector cam is. It knows exactly where the crank is. So written in the software is the understanding of where the valve cam is as well. Because remember, the Jake levers are on the valve cam. So when the engine's running, you've got two solenoids. One solenoid runs lever one, two, and three. The other solenoid runs lever four, five, and six. If they want to Jake one cylinder, they pulse with that lever on when number one piston is on the compression stroke very near to top dead center. And when the piston gets just over top dead center, they pulse that solenoid off. Now the solenoids aren't latched, so really what happens is the pulse whisk starts and basically the Jake solenoids turned on and then when the pulse whisk stops, it turns off. And so it's only sending oil to the Jake lever for that short amount of time while that pulse width is on. If they want to pulse four cylinders, then they would turn the pulse width on to number one Jake solenoid continually. That would run to three levers, and then they would pulse number four cylinder every time it was just about the top dead center on compression, and once it got over top dead center, it would turn the solenoid off. Because remember, what the Jake brake does is it opens the exhaust valve when the piston is at almost top dead center on the compression stroke. So the engine uses all that energy to compress that air. And when the piston is just about at top dead center, instead of putting fuel in to make the engine have power, it opens the valve and lets all that pressure out. So the engine has wasted energy compressing the air. And that's all the Jake brake is, and that's all it does. Thanks for joining me on Neural Splendor. See you next time. If you have questions about what I just said, post them, and I'll answer the questions the best that I can. Thanks for joining me.